Hello and welcome to this edition of FPE's Tech Assist video. This video will discuss connecting a Panasonic FP0H PLC to a Bayer X2 platform HMI over Ethernet. The X2 uh, HMIs will uh, be applicable to the X2 base and the X2 Pro uh, with all sizes. So here I am with FPWIN Pro. I'm using version 7.4. Uh, I'm going to create a project with an FP0H uh, Ethernet based PLC. And I'm going to create a project. First thing I'm going to do is a couple of housekeeping things, which is set up the IP address of the PLC, as well as set up connections for my laptop, as well as HMI. So, first thing is I'm going to disable uh, DHCP. And I'm going to give this PLC a static IP address of 1.5 is fine. And then I'm going to enable a system connection to the PLC. A system connection is will allow me to program the PLC over uh, an Ethernet cable. Right now I'm connected via USB cable, so I can download these parameters out of the box. And then going forward, I can use a Ethernet cable. So I enable the connection, leave everything as uh, default and I'm going to make a note of this port number that'll be used later on. Next I'm going to create a user connection. Again this is going to be for my HMI. Enable it and I'm going to choose a second option which is ET-LAN and I'm also going to make a note of this port number as well. Next I'm going to create a very simple ladder pro program and um, create one base of log piece of logic create some global variables for a start then i'm going to create a timer that i will use on my hmi as well and I will make this uh, an adjustable timer on my HMI. Going to compile this. And again, like I said, I'm connected over USB. So I'm going to just verify which COM port I am by going to my devices. And I should see a PID SX and it's on COM5. And it is. So I go to online, communication parameters, set it up for USB RS232 because it's a converter. COM5, I hit OK. And then I download this project to the PLC. And now that I've downloaded the IP addresses, the connections are all set. And now I want to verify oops, that I can ping the PLC. Ping it again, and there is my connection. Okay, now I go back to my FP1 Pro. I'm going to now communicate over Ethernet. I change this to Ethernet. I set my computer's IP address, which I have set to 192.168.33. I'll leave the port at zero. And here is where I set the IP address of the PLC, which I know is 1.5. And I'm going to now reference a port number that I used uh, in the system connection, 32769. I hit OK. And now if I did everything right, I should be able to go online, which I am. And now it says Ethernet right here. So I'm now talking from my laptop to the PLC over Ethernet. Let's go ahead and create an uh, IX developer project. I'm going to choose an X2 Pro. And the Panasonic protocol is Muticall. I hit finish. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up my communication settings to the PLC. So I go to Tags controllers, settings. I'm going to change this from serial to TCP. And then I just go to stations and I change the IP address of the PLC to, to match what I have. 
And now I'm going to make sure I'm using the same port number that I set up in my user connections. And now I'm going to bring over the tags that I used in my FP1 Pro project. I do that by going to project, export, variable as a CSV, all global variables. I can leave everything as, as default. And I just want to make sure we have the set at multi-byte. Create a file name. And now I can go back to IX Developer and import that those very same tags. Leave it at Matsushita import format. Select that file. And I should see all the tags I create in my project, which I do. Now it's all in tag name, tag data type, and tag address are now in there. And now I can create a very basic HMI project. So I will make a push button. Associate a tag with it. Give an action for that tag, which will toggle the connected tag. If I check this box, it'll use the tag associated on this home ribbon. I'm now going to give myself the ability to edit that timer. Put my units in there. And then I'm going to go to my component library and I will choose a indicator light. and I will associate the indicator light with it. Since this is a Boolean, I only have a zero or off, zero or one value I need to worry about. And so I'll delete these other ones and I will choose a green and a red indicator light. Just kind of align these in the middle. And I do a run project. And what should happen is a virtual HMI will pop up. The very first time you do a run, it takes a couple extra moments to compile the project and build the database in the background, but a virtual HMI should come up. Which it does. And it sees my preset is zero. Instead, I wanna have a, let's call it a 2.5 second Timer, I hit start, and there's my indicator light. We're all good to go. Thank you very much. Have a good day.